Hello everyone, this is Nemea Wantang with Family Travel Africa. I am a board certified family physician in Panama City, Florida, and I would like to tell you a little bit more about our channel. So I've had a lot of uh, people ask, what is this channel about? Why Family Travel Africa? And uh, to answer this, I thought I'd give you a little bit of background as to how we came about with our channel. It was about a year ago when we first experienced the lockdown with the corona uh, pandemic and everyone was staying home, social distancing, physical distancing, and a lot of us started to miss out on things that we were used to doing um, when things were normal before the pandemic. And one of the things we enjoyed doing, particularly as a family, was travel. And so uh, without any options for travel at the time, I decided on starting a travel blog. And this was a way for me uh, to share some of uh, what we've done, uh, places we've been, and uh, with, our, with our kids to look at those photos and fill in the gaps of time uh, that we've had uh, while we're staying home all together. So with Family Travel Africa, uh, the blog has a lot of where we've been, what we've done, some history about the places we visited, things we like to do, you could consider those recommendations. But one of the things that I thought really important to bring to the blog was uh, the recommendations for travel with children. And especially when it comes to travel uh, in Africa, a lot of my friends and, and people I know are hesitant to travel with their children, partly because they're not aware of the options for travel with children, um, and also because they consider it an austere environment where they're not comfortable in case of emergency. And so these are the things that I try to address with the places that we've traveled to and uh, share um, with other families that may be interested in traveling with their kids to these locations. So on our travel blog, uh, there's uh, chronicles of travels that we have done in the past. Um, we have uh, Destination Africa, which goes through the different places we have visited in Africa. Of course, we are constantly uploading and updating because we have done a lot of travel. Um, now, there's also a section closer to home, which is, you know, the places that we have been to um, in the U.S., um, some pretty near, you know, we live in Panama City, Florida, which is a huge vacation destination. So we'll be sharing some of our vacation spots um, that we have here locally and have experienced. But also, you know, in the U.S., just even as far as uh, Wyoming, Montana, Utah, you know, West Coast, um, up north, uh, and uh, along, along the Gulf. So uh, I think one can expect to see Africa, but it's going to be closer to home and beyond Africa. You start talking about places like Mexico we've uh, visited in the Caribbean, in Europe. And so uh, all of this is uh, part of the family travel that uh, we'd like to share with you and really highlight uh, things that we think you would find interesting, uh, information that is educational, and recommendations that are practical. And so that's how our blog is broken up travel-wise. And there's another section where we just share uh, family fun. So things to do when you're not going out um, and you're not traveling. Um, so we have a family fun, we have a food section. So all our videos, uh, you will see links that hook you back into the blog and uh, you can learn more about these different places. So uh, I would say we've had a couple of videos uh, touching on meals from Egypt, Senegal, um, Cameroon, um, and these are all places that we visited and we've shared on, on the blog. Um, certainly, uh, we look forward to a time where we can do more of this, get out and come back, and, and, and we don't expect to be traveling as much even when things are, are lifted. I think there's a lot that needs to be settled in, but you, you can expect more from Family Travel Africa in this regard. So our YouTube channel, Family Travel Africa, is truly an expression or extension of our blog. Um, I will say that I've always enjoyed writing. Uh, I was one college course away from uh, getting an English minor. Um, 
really because I enjoy writing and reading and, you know, uh, not because I had to. Now, the YouTube channel, as you can see up to this point, has featured a lot of things uh, that the kids are interested in. Uh, we have a segment on Money Matters Monday, which our oldest uh, child did, and she was particularly interested in finance, and so she took, took that on. And even though it's not related to travel, as a family, it's something that we learned uh, and, and uh, worked through together. And then we had Tasty Tuesdays, and that is a passion of Binet's. Binet loves being in the kitchen. Um, she's always been curious as to mixing and, and, and matching different flavors and, and uh, particularly baking. So uh, it's almost like a culinary journey with Binet every time we get into her Tasty Tuesday because she takes us to different places uh, so far on the continent, but I'm pretty sure we're going to incorporate places beyond Africa. Um, just like our blog does. Um, and then we have Aze'e, who's our third, who is so curious about nature and animals and is always excited to give me a fun fact. I had honestly never heard about the Okapi until he told me about the Okapi. I think he was two years old when he said, oh, don't you know what that is? That's an Okapi. Yeah. Okay, um, so it's really natural and easy for him to talk about these, these animals. And that's really how uh, the concept of the YouTube channel came. It was the kids' uh, contribution to what we're doing together. We're staying home, but we are trying to still stay connected. I hope you like my video. Yes, you do. Subscribe.